Let's look at some relatively simple limits. We've seen some problems like this before where we just have the disguised definition of, of derivative. And so let's recall that, that in certain occasions you can actually write the derivative of a function f at zero, evaluated at zero, as follows. The limit as h approaches zero of f of h minus f of zero divided by h minus zero. And then of course just write it simply as the limit as h approaches zero of f of s f of h minus f of zero divided by h. And so here are two examples where you basically have this formulation. And so when you look at them, you're thinking, well, this is a difficult limit. Well, it's not because it's the definition of derivative. So in the first case, you have the limit as h approaches zero of e to the h minus one divided by h. Well, of course you can rig this you can just go ahead and write one as e to the zero, and then now this maps into this. So basically, this defines the derivative of the natural exponential at zero. Okay, well the derivative of the natural exponential is e to the x, evaluated at zero is just e to the zero or one. So you get a limit very simply just by noticing the definition of derivative. Now in the second problem, it's likewise a definition of derivative. You have the limit as h approaches zero of e to the h squared minus one divided by h. Well, we do the same thing again. We just write one as e to the zero squared. So now you can see this maps into this. So we basically have the derivative of e to the x squared evaluated at zero. Okay, well we just use the chain rule. We have e to the x times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x, evaluate that at zero. So that gives us two times zero times e to the zero, which is zero times one, which is zero. So again, uh, don't just assume that, that you have to have some monumental algebraic trick to solve limits. Make sure that you have exhausted the definition of derivative because many times, it enters into the situation just like the problem we had with integrals that look very difficult. But when you analyze it and take a little bit of time to step back, you see it's a very straightforward uh, application of the derivative definition. And we are done.